Hey guys, welcome back. This is Alberto Cordero and today I have a quick tutorial for you guys, all right? So real quick, I'm just gonna create this cylinder here, all right? And I'm gonna go to the front. Actually, I'm gonna go to the side here and I'm gonna select the displaying curve and I'm gonna go here to this corner right here and I'm gonna press Alt Z so I can see the curve inside the object. Otherwise, if I don't have it, you're not gonna see uh, the curve at all when you're drawing. So I'm gonna click here and over here and here again and something like this. All right. And now, I, uh, now that I have the curve selected, I'm just gonna click on the on the cylinder and I'm gonna press C in the keyboard. And we're gonna have this type of projection type of thing. And the ready means it's gonna cut into the uh, into the object. Now that I hit enter, we have this piece separated. There you go. Super simple and super, super useful, all right? And now that we have this one, I'm just gonna draw, um, let's say I'm gonna go to the top here and I'm gonna put this one right here and I'm gonna copy and paste and I'm gonna put it right over there. And I'm gonna select the second one and I'm gonna select the cylinder last, press the C in the keyboard. Same thing, project, project, and uh, I mean, cut, cut, and it's gonna cut into the object, like doing a, uh, a faster Boolean operation kind of thing, all right? So the other uh, type of uh, projection that I wanted to show you is actually projecting the curve itself. So in this case, it's not gonna cut, it's basically just going to, um, let, me, let me just show you. I'm gonna draw the other one around here, something like that. Hit enter, and now I'm gonna select this one, and then I'm gonna select that one right here, and go to project right here, project curve onto surface, onto the curve surface, and there you go. So it's basically just project the curve itself. So if I had this one, this is basically what it's doing. So I think this has got some, some use to it, uh, that you know that you can just experiment with that but those are the two um, two tools that are super useful especially the cut project because you can create uh, super fast um, kind of boolean operations like I said just with a little bit of select select see boom gone just like that how fast all right, guys, this is going to be all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.